After you start a trial for AvPoint Cloud Backup from Microsoft 365, your AvPoint Online Services tenant will automatically be created and you'll receive an email to log in for the first time. When you log in, you may be tempted to go and jump right into the Cloud Backup tool. I mean, it makes sense. You're coming in here to trial this particular tool, so you expect to be able to go in there and see how the backup works, maybe run a restore and so on. But if you try to go directly into the tool, you'll get this pop-up message that tells you Cloud Backup doesn't see any objects available for backup. What are your objects? Well, of course, your Exchange Online mailboxes, SharePoint Online site collections, Teams, OneDrives, and so on. The reason why you get this pop-up is because you have to do a configuration at the AOS level that's called Auto Discovery. If we go into Auto Discovery Scan Profiles, we'll see that there are no scan profiles in here right now. That means that we have to create one. And when you create a scan profile, you can do it two different ways. Most organizations go with express mode, where you tell it, go out and collect all of my objects of a specific type, because I'm planning on backing up all my mailboxes, all my OneDrives, and so on. However, there's one catch to this. If you are trialing the tool, Cloud Backup limits you to five of any type of object for the purpose of the trial. Again, this makes sense. You don't want to run a full backup on your Microsoft 365 tenant. That might take a really long time. You only need a handful of objects backed up so you can get into the tool and start to experiment and learn how the restores work, see the job reporting and everything else Cloud Backup offers. But here's the catch. The tool doesn't know if you want specific mailboxes or specific OneDrives or specific SharePoint sites, for instance, for the purpose of your cloud backup trial. So if you do express mode, then what you're going to get are the first five objects alphanumerically. If this is not what you want, if you have specific objects to be collected through the profile that you want to see show up in cloud backup, certain mailboxes, certain site collections, maybe you've built some that you have named test, Maybe you've got certain users who you know there's content in there that it's okay for you to use for the trial. Like for instance, if you're the IT person and you're fine with your mailbox being backed up so that you can go into the tool and take a look at executing restores of your own content. You can absolutely do that, but you're not going to want to go with the express mode. You're going to want to go with the advanced mode. Now, please note, the very first time that you log on to AvPoint Online Services, you should get a pop-up wizard, which promotes you doing all of your necessary setup. That wizard, though, doesn't know that you're in the scenario that I'm describing, that you have specific objects that you want to be part of your trial. So the wizard will prompt you to do an express mode. If you've done the express mode already, that's okay you can come into your express mode profile and convert it to advanced and then do everything we're about to do here and then run it again. Once that runs, it will index, it will catalog the specific objects you want as opposed to grabbing the first five alphanumerically. So when I go to an advanced mode, the way that this works is you're going to set up rules by object type. So for instance, mailboxes. Under mailboxes, over towards the right, I have a new container link. Now, if we scroll down a little bit, we can see that we can put together a container name, then give it a rule name to associate with that container and set up my search criteria. If you're not familiar with the containers, containers are exactly as their name implies. They are logical groupings of the object you are searching for. If you do an express mode profile, you will get things like default mailbox container. For SharePoint, you would get default SharePoint site collections container. For Teams, you would get default Teams container. What you're doing though in this scenario is you're telling it, I don't want the default container. I want a dedicated container that only has the objects in it that I'm searching for. So for our purposes here, I'm just gonna call this trial mailbox container. Note, the name doesn't make a difference. You can call it anything you want other than default mailbox container. 
Now below that, what do I want to name my rule? In this case, I'm calling it find trial mailboxes. And then we can search by any mechanism that we want related to mailboxes, essentially related to the users. Find users based on this metadata and then catalog their mailboxes so that Cloud Backup can see it. So what is the commonality between them? Any of these things could potentially be used. If you really want to do this in a dedicated way, group membership can be very useful. Over in Microsoft 365 Admin Center, I've already created a group and added four specific mailboxes. Where did I do that? Well, I go into the Admin Center, into my Azure Active Directory. From the dashboard, I would have gone into Add a Group. And in Add a Group, I would have given it the name that I want, the description that we want, and then Add Members and Save. My group in this particular case, I can see it by going again to the dashboard, over to Find a Group. And you can see here, I have Cloud Backup Trial. If I click on that, we can see that we have four users. And here are the users that I've included. Now you might be thinking, wait a second, you said you can do up to five for the trial in Cloud Backup. That's absolutely true, but you're not required to do five. So I'm gonna do these four based on that group membership. So we go back to Cloud Backup, group membership equals, and then I type in the name of the group. Please be mindful of typos. Now note, if you want to do multiple criteria, well, you can do that as well. Maybe you don't want to have to create a specific group and then add people to that. Maybe you want to do it based on multiple factors here that will identify a handful of mailboxes for you. In our case here though, I just added folks to that temporary group that I'm using for my cloud backup trial. So we will create a container. We're making a rule then to find mailboxes and add them to my custom container. Now note, of course, this is not only available to you when trialing the solution. You can use this in production and you can do as many containers as you like. Again, a lot of organizations will just go with Express because it's very easy. We're gonna back up every mailbox, so just lump them all together. But if you wanted to subdivide them for any reason, this is how it's done. I could do that by coming and creating new container and setting a rule up for it, and a new container and so on and so on. But in our case here, we're done. So I'm gonna click Save. And now it's gonna ask me, okay, what do you want to do with everything else? So for all those other mailboxes, do not add them to any container is the default. Add them to the default container or make another new custom container. I'm going to stick with don't add them. Now, if you want to do this not just for your mailboxes, you want to do it for your OneDrives, you'll follow the same process. Create a container and define a rule to target the OneDrives you want in your trial. Go to SharePoint, create a container. The reason why you have to do these separately is because it's all different types of metadata that you can target. How you target Teams and Yammer community is very different from how you can target the mailboxes that you want. For our purposes here, we're just gonna stick with the mailboxes. Down at the bottom, I click Next. We're going to then give this profile a name and save it and run it. Other AOS setup that is required are things like the app profile and or the service account so that AvPoint Online Services can communicate with your Microsoft 365 tenant. We can see I do already have that in place because it's auto selecting and that's fine for our purposes. And now I'm going to click save and run. If you simply click save, the default is that every one of your scam profiles runs at midnight. So if you want to get the trial going, save it and kick off the job right now. Now, if we go back and click on scan profiles, we can see that it is scanning. I'm going to pause our recording here until that is concluded. All right, so we can see now that our scan has finished running 
And if I select it and go into Scan History, we can see under Mailboxes, the four mailboxes that I specified have been put into a container named Trial Mailbox Container, and the other mailboxes have all been skipped. As for things like the OneDrives, no OneDrives, no SharePoint, no Teams, and that's because we did not designate what to do as part of the advanced rule for those objects. So again, real world, you want something from those various objects to be included as part of your cloud backup trial. I did it here though to show you those results. So now, based on what I'm seeing, if we go back to the home page, and there can be a little bit of a delay between the time your scan finishes running and cloud backup seeing the results of that scan. But if I click on this now and go into cloud backup, we can see that we have mailbox four items trial mailbox container and there are my dedicated mailboxes and again just to make the point we have nothing for any of the others because we didn't set up the rest of those rules but if i now click save and run these mailboxes only the ones that i wanted to be part of my trial and if i had done the same thing for onedrive and teams and so on only those specific objects Will Cloud Backup now go out and capture their information and create backups? So this is how you can use Cloud Backup during a trial with very specific Microsoft 365 objects. It all comes down to your auto discovery scan profiles. Thanks for watching this short video on how to include specific Microsoft 365 objects in your cloud governance trial.